How's it going guys? Welcome back to the fifth episode, I think, of the Road to Web Development series. And today we're going to be taking a look at forums. And forums are really important. You know, they're how we get input from a user. You know, how we get names, how we get emails and messages and contact information, things like that. You probably filled out a thousand forms before, so let's take a look at how to make them. We're starting off with our basic HTML template, which we always use. And we're going to start by declaring the form. And this just this uh, is done by an opening form tag and a closing form tag. And then in between them, we're going to have a couple of input elements. And input elements can there can be different kinds of input. We can have a text box. We can have radio buttons. We can have a whole bunch of things, which we're going to take a look at. The three we're going to take a look at today are text, radio, and submit input elements. Let's start with the text or the text input element. To make an input element we just have to type input and then we need to state what type of input this is going to be. As I said before we want a text box so we're going to type text and if you see in the preview here a text box appears and we can use this to type our name or whatever information we want to type. So that's how you make a uh, input type, or an input element rather. Now later on we'll have to add more attributes and uh, we'll talk a little bit about how they work with PHP, but for now I'm just introducing the input elements so you guys can understand the fundamentals. Let's create a radio button. We do this in a similar way, except instead of the type being equal to text, we type radio and I'm just gonna add a BR tag here and this BR element just um, basically just creates a, a break in the page so the next element will appear below if we get rid of this BR element you can see that the radio button appears side by side um, with the text but if we add it it starts on a new line and as you can see here there's a radio button that we can select the third type of input element that we're going to be talking about is the submit kind. So submit element. So we're going to type input type and we're going to set it equal to submit. And now what we can see is a submit button right here. And basically the submit uh, the submit button uh, is just used for submitting a form to a form handler. And we'll talk about talk more about that um, later on it kind of has to do with PHP um, it's not so much uh, practical for talking about right now but just just know that that's how we submit the data so this is the part one video now in the part two video we're going to kind of run with this idea but we're going to create a bit of a contact form we're going to create a basic contact form and we're going to introduce a few new elements okay and uh, I want to thank you guys for watching and be sure to subscribe, like, comment, all that fun stuff. It really means a lot, really helps out. If you have any questions, of course you can comment and I'll get back to them as soon as I can, usually within a day. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for part two, which is coming up right away.